Oral cancer is the sixth most commonly diagnosed form of cancer in the U.S. The five-year survival rate is just 50 percent. But now your dentist can screen for it by using a special blue light. The next time you go to the dentist, say ah uh, ah, uh, you might be asked to open wide for this. Perfect. The Velscope, a new way to screen for oral cancer. And the key to preventing, or well, to keep from dying from oral cancer is making sure that you catch it in early stage. Hygienist Amy Mitchell works in Woodenville at the offices of Dr. Michael Kozarski. Can lift your tongue up? One of only 50 dentists nationwide who use the Velscope during clinical trials. Place it to your left cheek. Now Amy makes it part of her regular checkups. So Jennifer, I'm looking right now at the cells in your mouth. With a high energy blue light, the Velscope illuminates the gums. The light is going to shine on them. For Amy, it's like looking through a pair of night vision goggles. She sees fluorescent green when the light shines on normal tissue. And if there are precancerous cells, the color changes. But oral cancer cells, you know, unhealthy cells, precancerous cells, don't have the capability to emit that light back into the scope. So they end up absorbing all the light and they show up as a dark color, dark green or dark black. Very easy to spot. The Velscope received FDA approval last year, making it easier for hygienists like Amy to shed new light on cancer. Oh, well, since oral cancer is such a treatable cancer, I can see it actually getting to the point where, you know, 90% of people who have oral cancer can be treated and, you know, cleared of it. Curious about dentists who use the Velscope? Just visit our website, king5.com. This cancer-free Washington HealthLink report is brought to you by Seattle Cancer Care Alliance, working together to cure cancer.